I attend classes rarely, but for once I decided to show to my face in the classroom. In fact, I come so little for a moment I didn't even remember where my seat was. When I arrived at my own seat, I flip, I flop my face down on the desk like a panda in a zoo. As the rabble continues staring at me, the door to the classroom opens and someone rushes over with a grin. Good morning, it's a surprise to you in class, Yagaki-san. It's Rika Hanabishi, a straight-laced fast present. She greets me with a most charming smile. What's going on? Is something troubling you? She's also quite a busybody. It's not like I came down here for a counselling session. Sister Basket just requested it when I put in an appearance. Sister Dahlia did? Yeah. I could have just ignored her, but she does a lot for me and I don't want to appear ungrateful. Her present eyes widened behind her glasses. What? You came to a tea party too, didn't you? She's hinting at something. You're saying it's unusual behaviour of someone like me? So it takes no interest in other people. I may not be a student council president, but even I can recognise in a world without any sense of duty would be a dark place. But being beholden to it is another matter. We pay kindness in turn. That's what our middle sister said, albeit pretty sourly. Didn't get any idea from her. I just feel the same way. <laughs> of course. I'm a bit disconcerted by the peasant's demeanour as she smiles and shakes her braids. I know she has good intentions, but I don't deal with it with this kind of sentiments. Now what? Her peasant even hasn't even gone to put a bag on her desk. She's obviously still got more to say. Seems like she intends to spend her time before morning's prayers chatting with me. I'm gonna book out, maybe she'll take the hint. Just as I'm thinking this. Oh, you gacky chance here! A lively voice reverberates through the room as I feel even more vexed. The twins, who are even a tiny fit, even first year students, make a beeline for me. What's going on? It's so weird to see you in a classy yaki chan. One of two beauty spots in the hair tied up is Ichigo, the elder of the two. It is an unusual sight. One of the single beauty spot in the hair down is the younger sister, Ringo. Easy to get them jumbled up, but I remember how the new identical sisters themselves explained how to tell them apart. You two have no manners. Huh? It's totally unusual. Now I agree, but someone on a more timid decision would do a bit of out turn and leave after hearing that. You think? My sister tends to say whatever comes to her mind. She should be more careful. Hey, you're treating me like a zoo animal yourself too, you know. Good morning. As I grim to myself, her clean voice from somewhere above me. It's a familiar voice. It belongs to exactly the kind of person who would do an about turn of a twin's words. Oh, oh you're pretty late. I'll stop at a library on my way here. She puts a hand to her chest, smiles. Must be mushing. Thankfully, she's not the type to ask annoying questions. So, what are you doing here, yagaki chan I'd like these two to take a leaf out of Johanna's book. I know. Let's play with them a bit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I can't do that. I mean, Shuhane's nearby. I can't be mean to Shuhane. are bearing down on me and decided against giving a proper answer. The truth is... Yeah, yeah, the truth is... I took a prank too far and got called in by the teacher. Huh? I mean, I thought it was pretty funny, but I guess if you keep making nuisance of yourself, you wind up angering even most saintly of people. So Mr. Basket summoned me here. I'm quaking my boots wondering what kind of punishment she's going to dish out. I, 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 I see. 
It's okay as much as guiltily placing her hands together and fiddling with her fingers. It was supposed to be a joke. She worried about some offence of her own being uncovered. What what must we do to do, old chap? Uh, well, well, so my buckle and buddy's brain were interaction. I wait for just the right moment. Well, I was just joking. I'll leave it at that. Letting her protest off my back, I tell Shirohane how Sister Basket has requested I come to class today. She puts her hand to her chin. Must be some special reason why she asked you to come today. She laps into a four. She always seeks an answer right away for even the smallest things. Well, I suppose that's the interesting thing about her. Anyway, I want to get this over with as quickly as possible so I can get back to my room and lie down. This is my usual nap time. That's no good. You want to maintain a proper lifestyle. The present makes an earnest point in response to my banter. But I've run it off dismissively. I catch a whiff of a sweet, fresh scent as she leans forward. It would be quite a beauty if she just smiled more. The uptight look of hers cuts her attractiveness in half. Or well, maybe some people are into that kind of thing. Good morning, everyone. Please take your seats. Erika's already in hers. And that kind of yet somewhat air headed voice, you will take to our seats. I lift my head from where it had been resting on my desk and languidly look over at Riona, her voice. She's as beautiful as ever. She comes to help me every day and thanks to my legs. I think we're same each time. Topaz eyes, framed by her slender features, lustrous shining hair like fine silk. I mean, I know there's no point in comparing myself to her, but still. Her figure is voluptuous and womanly, quite a rarity here at the Academy. Honestly, I'm pretty jealous. A sigh escapes my lips, I think my own messy hair and scrawny body. Oh, it's Yagaki, you're here. I'm so happy to see you. Sure. She dressed me like a child and I raised my hand slightly in response. I hear a suppressed giggle and suddenly feel embarrassed. Today I have some wonderful news for you all, so... My slightly downturned, honey-coloured eyes are fixed on me. I'm going with Yagaki to join us too. Hey, Sister Dalia, what's the big news? I feel bad why I can wait any longer, so let's bring him in, shall we? Uh oh, here comes trouble. Since Rassi calls for the door, and there's no immediate answer. Then the door opens, and the people should have been keeping waiting enters the classroom. Are they? I think so, but. To be honest, I had a hunch about what's going on from the way she led me into it. For a moment, Sister Basket said she had some wonderful news. However. Her. I'm curious as a t with a high number of transfer students, my eyes are fixed on just one of them. A girl. One with extraordinary hot expression, like every little thing she encounters is an annoyance. Hello anyone, please introduce yourselves to your classmates. The serious looking transfer students do as they're told, and introduce themselves to us one by one, when lasses the turn of a girl with those horrible eyes. Shidori Takasaki. Hello. She throws out cold, coolly. Her haughty attitude reminds her of her encounter with her under a cherry tree. Sister Basket urges her to perhaps say a few wo words more, but... I don't have anything to add. She shuts it down. This girl. She's got such a mature face that I thought she was another classman, but I guess not. If I'd known, I'd try to wind her up a bit more. Papa, having overheard my mutterings, a student in front of me looks back in surprise and stares at me. I ignore her and glare at Chidori Takasaki. Well, um, perhaps I should speak on your behalf. Due to her work, Miss Takasaki is a skilled singer and ballet dancer. Everyone's intrigued by the use of the word work. 
She's an idol, isn't she? The way she was singing, the type of song she was singing, it makes me think idol to me. A buzz starts up across the classroom, but now President raises her hand slightly. Uh, Sister Dahlia, what kind of work would that be? That's a question that's on everyone's mind. Oh, right, oh, of course. Have to hand together, she thought it was only just occurred to her. I forgot to mention, Miss Takasaki has been working in the entertainment industry. Some of you may already know of her. My classmates seem very interested to learn that one of her new transfer students is a celebrity. As for me, I guess celebrities really aren't nice people. At least that's the impression I get. Two faced bunch. Oh, Chidori Takasaki, I've heard of her. Is she f famous? I saw on some singing show. As words add fuel to a fire, a buzz grows louder, with more and more students turning their fervent gaze on the girl, Miss Chidori Takasaki. Then the questions start to fly like arrows. Are you enrolling here properly, not just temporarily? Will you keep performing? Can I get your autograph? In response to all these questions, the same answer. Do you like the academy? I don't know. Oh. Class president's taking a back expression, maybe it's the rest of the class. Sora Takasaki shuts everything down with a short, I don't know, in response to her president's question. Could she have even more trouble dealing with people than Shirohane? No, it's more like she doesn't have any intention of making friends with anyone in the first place. Looks like that's the only thing we have in common. Oh, is that it for questions? This is that everyone's really either realised there's something strange about which Chidori Takasaki. Her fervors died down and a strange hush had descended over the room. Like a bunch of idiots have got carried away with themselves and spoiled things to everyone. Now everyone, please be nice, nice to all your new classmates. There's a course of agreement. Oh, and about our new students' amity partners. In these words, everyone's expression changes, especially those of the Sasaki twins. Her amity partner quit, didn't she? Thinking about it logically, I'd probably have a new students filling for those who left. So I'm wondering about this. I'm going to take your amity selection test yesterday and... She looks around at everyone. We decided to group them together. I'm a little deflated at the sound of this completely inoffensive compromise. It would have been interesting if Takasaki had ended up in Shirohane's group. That weirdo would have been quite a burden for a straight-laced class president and a serious sensitive Shirohane. Which is exactly why I thought it would have made an interesting combo. Well, the group she'd probably get along the best would be... The Sasaki twins, I suppose. It's good, it's just the two of them in Amity group too. Their outgoing personalities and even oddball like her would find themselves swept along in their current. Having concluded their explanation to the transfer students, Sis Basket puts her hand on Takasaki's shoulder and looks around the classroom. Then, for some reason, her gaze fixes on mine. She smiles brightly. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's actually one exception. According to the Amity Patrick test, there's one student of a class who's a particularly good match for Miss Takasaki. Oh, come on, don't tell me. So, a new student will end up being split into a group of three and a group of two. That's why I'm you, isn't it, Miss Takasaki? The bewildered look in Takasaki gives a slight nod as Mr. Basaki clasps her hands together and smiles. But Mr. Takasaki's amity partner will be... Come on, seriously, you're kidding, right? Mr. Yagaki! That's fine with you, isn't it, Mr. Yagaki? Objection! My bad failing has been right on a mark. I shamelessly fling my hand in the air. What's the matter, Mr. Yagaki? Why are you making an exception? Where six transfer students, wouldn't it make more sense to split them into two groups of three? Yes, but as explained, that was decided based on the amity placement test, which is a fairly rigorous selection process. Chase this conclusively. If judge, it should get along with me? No way. No, but... Don't worry, it was all done by a proper screening process. You two will definitely get along. Her tone is gentle, yet to me sounds like worse than nails screaming on a chalkboard. Please be nice to her. In response to a calm explanation of her reasoning, all I can say is... I prefer to be alone.
Your varnished truth spills from my lips. Well, I said it quietly, my voice still reaches Sister Basket's ears. Mishi Agaki. A melancholy shadow passes over honey coloured eyes. She moves to stand before me. Um, I. A sweet womanly scent washes over me. She wraps her soft hand around mine. It's okay. I understand. Huh? You can't be lonely anymore. From now on, every day will be peaceful and filled with fun. She's got the wrong idea here. She clearly thinks I'm some lonesome girl trying to put on a brave face. She speaks to me in a quiet voice, she's like she's controlling a child. No, that's not what I meant. Yes? No, never mind. I said it didn't hold up well against people acting out of pure goodwill. Well, here's someone I'm even weaker against. She reminds me of my own sister. For her appearance, her personality is completely different. Sister Basket is strongly reminds me of my second oldest sister. Alright. I tried to put my hand out of her warm grasp. To home room, please show her around the academy. She gives a firm grasp of my hand. All I can do is answer in an affirmative. Our class president asks if she has any questions, and Takasaki answers there's nothing in particular.